Um, I'd say my first ever drawing of a, a good dinosaur was about, I think, three or four. <laughs> What sort of came about you doing dinosaurs and Christmas cards? Well, I thought it... I love dinosaurs. I think something that it could be bigger than the biggest creature now, which the tallest is giraffe and the biggest is an elephant. So something that can weigh like 10 times that, mm -hmm. like a Diplodocus, would be really cool. And I think that having carnivores and like they, it was like survival back then, I think that's really cool and how they looked. It's like lizards. Yeah, I've definitely always encouraged um, Brendan to do anything creative, but he's always loved drawing, you know, ever since he was pretty young. And um, we've still got art diaries that are just pages and pages of just scribble, and yeah. then it slowly evolved to you know, shapes, and then it was always the, always dinosaurs or like cavemen and dinosaurs or robot men versus dinosaurs, and <laughs> he'd just draw these epic battle scenes. Oh, yeah. that's fantastic. And then, yeah, he's just, it's amazing to watch his art evolve. Yeah. And how did the T-shirt come about? Because when I saw that, I thought, that's really cool. Is this the first T-shirt you've had printed and made? Um, this one I yeah. had in about 2014. Oh great! So yeah. And do you wear much. some of your own work? Like, have you got a couple that you've um, got favourite ones? I do. Ones? I do have one, the Ceratosaurus and the Spinosaurus T-shirt. They're the only two that I made. They're way too small now. You're letting him evolve. What can you see developing? Uh, I think one of the main things is just confidence. Like yeah. his, um, you know. Like, I'm not the most outgoing person myself and um, you know sometimes I see that in Brendan and but it's just great to see like on the Saturday and doing these the Christmas cards because you know we hand delivered quite a few and just meeting so many people and everyone was you know very happy to get them and you know mm -hmm. praising him for his work and I think it was really really good for his confidence and mm. yeah I, I sort of saw Christmas that. I Christmas spirit too isn't it? Yeah. I suppose it would be so uplifting for everyone and yeah. yeah. How did you go with selling your Christmas cards at the exhibition? Um, apparently I did the best out of everybody, which Isn't that great? made me feel, feel good. Definitely. And it was really fun, just like people actually like walking by and saying hello, that made me feel really good yeah. as well. And I just want to say thank you so much for your time today. You've Thanks been super, for coming. super inspiring and special and I can't wait to see what you're doing come next Easter. You'll have to send me a photo <laughs> of your bunny ones and your Halloween ones and we'll share them for you. But keep up the great work. Never stop being um, arty and creative and you never know where it might take you. It's awesome. High five. Did you see the red weeing dog weeing on the no dog sign? Yes, yes, that was yes. my one. Oh, was it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we love that one. <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah, that was my favourite one. I pretty much do it whenever I can, especially when you're meant to read at school. I like doing it then. One person is just like, hi, I'm just like, like I said, hut. And then I just didn't say anything else. 